There are more than 10,000 recorded genetic diseases that are passed on through generations, affecting millions of people, often with fatal or severely debilitating illness. Scientists worldwide are working to crack genetic codes, to identify genes linked to disease, diagnose abnormalities, and discover new treatments. The Genetic Disease Foundation, or GDF, is a nonprofit organization founded in 1997 by patients and families affected by genetic diseases, volunteers who were motivated by their own experience to help others. GDF's mission is to help prevent and treat genetic disease by supporting research, education, and counseling. GDF raises funds for various research and patient organizations and has granted millions of dollars to the Mount Sinai School of Medicine's Department of Genetics and Genomic Sciences, one of the largest medical genetic centers in the country and soon to become one of an elite group of institutions at the cutting edge of the genomic revolution. Over the past decades, Mount Sinai, a leader in translating research breakthroughs to the clinic, has identified dozens of genes that cause disease and developed the first treatment for Fabre, which was approved by the US FDA in 2007, and a treatment for Neiman Pick B, which is in phase three clinical trials. By identifying the gene linked to a rare disorder called Wim syndrome, Mount Sinai was able to provide a diagnosis for patient David Edwards, who had been sick all his life, but never knew the cause. One of the biggest things when I got sick was, how did this happen, you know? I found out from Dr. Diaz about three and a half, four years ago, he gave me a call and said, at first we really didn't know, but then we did a little bit more testing and found out that I had Wim syndrome fully. Dr. Diaz and his team continue research on Wim syndrome towards finding a cure. We're going to continue that research. We're going to have the next generation of therapeutics. We're committed to those single gene disorders. At the same time, Mount Sinai is taking its research to a new level, investing in world-class facilities, equipment, and personnel. Under the leadership of a visionary new scientist, Dr. Eric Schott, Mount Sinai will enter the next genetic frontier. We realized we needed someone who thought out of the box, who was going to be able to bring to Mount Sinai all the disciplines that are necessary to give us the fruits of the revolution in medicine. And it was clear that the best person to do that was Eric Schott. Dr. Schott is recognized for his view that researchers should study multiple genes and biological processes in order to better understand disease causes and develop treatments. So I've recently joined Mount Sinai from Pacific Biosciences, which is a third generation DNA sequencing company. And the aim for that company was to generate very large scale sets of information to provide way better snapshots of what's causing a particular disease condition. Advanced technology, like the supercomputer, is used to compile, integrate, and analyze large amounts of human data with sophisticated models. This could help vastly improve our ability to diagnose and treat both rare and common diseases. You know, one of the things that is emerging from this uh, social networking revolution, the Facebook revolution, is how connected we all are. This is the idea behind integrating the rare genetic disease community with the common you know, sort of human genetics community because in the end, at the molecular level, we're all connected. The research done in the, in the department and the, in the institute, we think are going to change the way medicine is practiced. To address the need for patient education, GDF works with Mount Sinai to conduct communications initiatives to help people understand how they can benefit from genetic advances. GDF continues to build its public information campaign called Know Your Genes, which includes a website and other resources for patients and health professionals. Mount Sinai leaders recognize the importance of GDF support and what it will mean moving forward. Funding that comes from GDF can now be used to understand what are all the genes that may be involved in a given condition. The philanthropy that's going to go to these areas is going to make a difference. It's going to change the way we can diagnose, prevent, and treat human disease. I want to say thanks to the GDF. You accelerated our ability to do research. You helped us recruit the best and the brightest. It makes a huge difference 
we think we're at the threshold of great things that are going to be made possible by this department, this institute, and Eric's leadership. For more information, please visit www.geneticdiseasefoundation.org.